Humor, they have a show every Saturday night at the Fox. Sarah Mowry, everybody! Thank you, Angora. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, low spirits. How's it going? Why am I talking like this? I'm not in an old timey movie. All right. Um, so what are we talking about? We're talking about things. I heard this thing the other day that black people always have to like uh, say hello to each other if they're in a situation together, if they, you know, see each other around. Um, and that's weird because, uh, well, white people do this thing uh, where, well, um, we just like oppress everybody who doesn't look like us. It works, it's been working pretty well for us, I'd say. It's been working pretty well. Um, this time of year is weird, right? It's really cold, it's really upsetting, I don't know. My heater doesn't work, um, but it's really warm here. Um, and it makes me think about God a lot. Um, and it makes me think about my mom. She, um, I know when she, when she dies, she's probably going to heaven, but her heaven is just sending other people to hell. <laughs> So she's gonna become like the Oprah of hell. Like you get to go to hell and you get to go to hell and you get a scrunchie. <laughs> Apparently she liked that person, I don't know. Um, but my mom told me the other day that uh, cervical cancer runs in her family, which is <laughs> hilarious, apparently, <laughs> hilarious. Um, I was worried about it, but then I realized like, if you're gay, do you really need your cervix? Apparently, yes, because I went to my doctor and I got a second opinion and she was like, Sarah, your cervix, did I lose everybody yeah. at cervix? Your cervix holds everything together up there. It's like a little donut. And I was like, ma'am, you are, you've been practicing medicine for a number of years. Like, please do not refer to my, like anything up there as a donut. Like what's next? Are you gonna like remove my bread basket? Like I'm not a game of operation, I'm a person. I mean, I'm a person. Um, but ladies, uh, do you hate going to the doctor? Anybody? Yeah. Yes? No, I don't know. Uh, going to the doctor as a woman is the worst thing ever. And I'll tell you why. Uh, going to the doctor is like getting into a castle of healthcare, and every riddle that every troll has is always concerning pregnancy, and it's really fucking uncomfortable. Like you go to the front desk and they're like, uh, well, that headache, ma'am, could be because you're pregnant. And they ask you like, uh, are you on birth control? And I'm always like, ladies. And they're like, oh, well, that's weird. Um, and then they type something into their computer uh, for, I don't know, like 10 minutes. And their computer doesn't actually like go to anything. You would think like in 2012, hooking two computers together wouldn't be like the hardest thing in the world. And then you go to the actual doctor and they're like, do you have birth control? Do you use abstinence? And you're like, but uh, ladies, and then it's just upsetting for everyone. Um, straight men do this weird thing where they say that vaginas are ugly. And first of all, that's untrue. And second of all, men, if you actually say this, there's a word for that. And that, that's, that's, you're gay, you're a gay man. <laughs> And I'm not trying to be hateful, I'm trying to like bring you to your highest capacity or something. I don't know. Yeah! Woo! Gay men, stop calling my vagina ugly. It's a fucking flower. I don't know. Or some bullshit you heard in the vagina monologues. It's upsetting. Um, have you guys heard about this weird thing that, that this weird product that's uh, out right now? It's, it's vagina bleaching. Yeah, it's a real thing, sir. Um, first of all, it's really racist. And second of all, like, if you have a vagina, you knew that you know that will burn. Um, so in protest, my vagina has just been wearing vagina blackface for years and years. So thank you very much. I'm Sarah.